Hi, my name's Andy, and I work for the Pace Trust that works in Paul, Bournemouth, and Christchurch, and we do our re lessons, our lunchtime clubs, and assemblies like this one you're gonna, gonna see today. I want to tell you a story about a pastor, about a vicar, who was gonna take over this very big and posh church. But he decided to do something slightly sneaky. He got dressed up in really old and smelly clothes and he disguised himself a bit so that people wouldn't recognize him. And he crept into church, smelling a little bit pongy, doing all the wrong things, and people moved away from him, didn't talk to him, were trying to push him out the door, weren't welcoming to him, and left him sat in a corner on his own. And then somebody said, and today we're really lucky, we're really blessed, we're really fortunate to have our new pastor, our new vicar with us. And he shuffled up the front, took off his old smelly clothes and put on his smart vicar robes and told this story from the Bible. Um, and it's about at the end of time, there's a king which is meant to be Jesus in this story and he splits up the sheep from the goats. Now in those days, goats and sheep used to mingle and wander around together, but the sheep were the really valuable ones. So everyone would be thinking there, I want to be a sheep. Sheep are good, goats are bad. So they split out the sheep and the goats, and then Jesus says to the sheep, thank you for when I was hungry, you guys gave me something to eat. When I was thirsty, you gave me a drink. When I was cold, you gave me clothes to wear and shelter, and you visited me in prison. And they were like, I don't think we did, I don't, don't remember. Well, when did we do that, Jesus? And he said, what you did for the least of these, you did for me. And then he turned to the goats and said, but when I was hungry, you didn't give me anything to eat. When I was thirsty, you didn't give me a drink. I was cold and you didn't give me clothes or shelter. I was in prison and you didn't visit me. And they said, well, when did we do that, Jesus? And they said, what well, you didn't do for the least of these, you didn't do for me. It's a challenge, isn't it? I think often as Christians, we can be very good at having the right answers. I remember when I was at Sunday school, I, I knew my dad was a vicar, so I knew lots of the right answers. I used to put my hand up, get the right answers, because right answers meant sweets, but actually the thing was I had it all in my head, but I wasn't really living it out. I could grab a, I could grab a guitar and start playing it, but I haven't got a clue how to do it. I could have all the gear, but no idea. All the gear, but no idea. We can talk the talk. But we've actually got to put it into practice. Now you today might not be able to feed homeless people or you might not have a spare room to give somebody, but maybe think of all the kind things you could do today. Who could you help? What could you do? And then as you think about the kind things you do, the Bible says in a funny kind of way, you're doing it for Jesus. And now think about all the bad or nasty things you could do. And the Bible says, you could be doing that to Jesus too. It's a challenge to think, how do we live our lives? Is what we say and what we do, do they match up? And as a Christian, I think what we say and what we do needs to, needs to link up. Because if you say one thing and do another, the word for that is a hypocrite, which is one of the things that Jesus told us not to be. So a little challenge today, to think about what we say and what we do. Think about how we can help each other and to, and to realize that whatever we do, good or bad, it's almost like we're doing it to Jesus. Mother Teresa is an amazing woman said, we see Jesus in the poor or hurting or sad or lonely in his most distressing disguises. So should we have a prayer to finish with? Dear God, thank you that you want us to be kind to help each other to make a difference. Thank you that when we say we do the kind things, we do that to you. Help us not to do the nasty things, which we also realize that we do to you. Help us not to be people that say one thing 
and do another. Help us to match up. Help us not to be all the gear, but no idea. Amen.